everybody, it's me, Bangs, and I'm here with a video review of a face powder that I am absolutely loving and I have been loving for an entire year. And it is the Cojun Doe Face Powder. It's kind of like a finishing powder, setting powder, you know, super matte. It, you know, I like to use it to touch up my oily areas, you know, when I'm completed my makeup because I kind of like, as far as my makeup, I don't like it to be matte, but I don't like it to be like greasy, if that makes sense. I kind of like my face to look kind of like how it is now. <laughs> It's kind of hard to describe my style as far as I want how I want my foundation skin to look. I don't like a really super matte dry look. I kind of like it to look really hydrated how it is now. But I do like to use this to set and, you know, um, to mat mattify my, my oily areas. So, um, I heard about this when I attended a makeup class last year. And I had received like a small um, kind of like tr travel sample size and that lasted me a whole year because the actual powder of this is super 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 fine you guys like it's so it it feels almost like liquid the powder it's just dope it's just amazing I'm and I'm not even exaggerating I'm not like I'm not exaggerating at all when I tell you that like this is like one of the best powders I've have ever had in my entire life my makeup life that is it is it's good so I purchased mine from Nordstrom's and this run ran me about $40. <laughs> and I would pay $40 for this because it's the bomb. It it's just everything. It doesn't give me any flashback in pictures. This is an HD powder from my understanding. And it just it does what it needs to do. So on the back of this, it says no artificial colors, fragrance, petroleum-based mineral oil, or parabens. Directions. Use after foundation is applied. Always keep the puff clean to ensure smooth application. It did come with a powder puff, but I'm not going to use. I'm not going to keep this in here because this can, you know, store bacteria and all that. Um, I just choose not to leave it in the actual um, case. Now I feel like I get quite a bit of powder. Um, what's the size of this? It's 0.42 ounces and the top looks like this and it's finely finely milled powder. It almost looked like powder that you would cook with like baking powder like you know flour I mean not baking powder flour. It almost feels like flour like that's how fine it is. So in comparison to like the other powders that I do have for example I have here my MAC Prep and Prime um in comparison to this I feel like if you don't want to spend the $40 um you could easily get away with this but I do feel like with me personally when I use this to touch up I do get flashback in the certain areas that you can tell I touched up in. And I don't even know if it's just because I'm not doing it right or if it's just because it, of the Prep and Prime powder. Um, both This powder is translucent, of course. You know, you can see that it's white. They're both translucent. I'm just comparing them. Um, this is my A2, like this is my A1 go-to. I was using this before, before I found out about this. And... It does a pretty good job about mattifying and everything, the Prep and Prime, but I do get flashback with this. If I'm taking a picture on flash, you, you can kind of see like little white marks on my face, depending on like where I put it. With this, I don't see that. And when I do apply it on my face, it keeps those areas matte for a really, really long time. I don't have to retouch for hours. With MAC Prep and Prime, I do, you know. Maybe like an hour or two later, I noticed that I might have to touch up in certain areas. I do not use MAC Prep and Prime all over my face just for the simple fact of the flashback that I had one time. And I had like a gray hue on my face when I took pictures. And I was just like really disappointed because like if you're going out for an event, because I do do quite a bit of events now and like I can't have it <laughs> like at all. Um... And this run ran me what, like $21 or $27 in the 20s. Now, for like maybe, I wouldn't even call this drugstore, but more of an inexpensive route, which is the LA Girl Pro Powder HD High Definition Setting Powder. I feel like this does have a very fine milled, uh, you know, it's very fine. 
and it almost reminds me of how fine the uh, the coconut dough um, powder is. It's it's really fine. Um, it it leaves you matte, honey. This this leaves me matte when I used it, almost a little too matte. <laughs> but I did experience flashback, you know, backflash or whatever. You know, when you take pictures and the flashes on it, it you can see where I placed it. You know. And it's not even necessarily of me trying to have a light hand with it. I think it's just, I don't know if it's just because of my skin tone or if it's the product or what. I'm not sure. But on camera purposes, like if I'm filming, it, it mats me out like awesome. Like I look super matte. It looks good. Um, but in pictures, it's like, sorry, I'm having issues with my lights. I don't know why they're tripping on me today. But, um... And then I do have the MAC Prep and Prime Pressed uh, Transparent Finishing Powder. And I normally like keep this in my clutch when I'm out when I need to touch up my oily areas. And I don't get too much flashback with this. But again, it's like I'm still getting a little something. So overall, I feel like if I'm going to spend some money on something that I know isn't going to like cause me any issues with pictures because everybody know how important your pictures are when you're going out to events or just you know any special occasion I will choose this first because this is the bomb I had a little small sample size for a year and a little does go a long way you don't have to use a whole lot of this and when I apply this it like immediately kind of melts into my skin it mattifies me out and it's just like it does what it needs to do so I've used it in the winter I used it in the summer in the summertime yes it it really soaks up any oil and prevents kind of like oil from forming in those areas after I put it in those you know areas I don't apply this all over my face because I just don't feel necessary to and plus it's expensive so I kind of want to <laughs> save as much as I can so um yeah I would definitely recommend this to somebody um second up if you can't get um this because this is costly I would you know say I would use this um, the MAC Prep and Prime because it does do a good job with mattifying. It's just that if I'm not careful with the way I apply it, I will get some flashback. Um, all of these are good. Actually, the LA Girl, this is good too. It's just that I have to be really, really mindful about how I, how much I'm putting on and where, you know. Or if I'm using this, I probably only use this for filming purposes because it does map me out really good. But as far as flashback, I probably won't wear it. I wouldn't choose this if I'm going out you know and I'm taking a lot of pictures I wouldn't do that so um and then pretty much the MAC prep and prime compact is the same as loose it's just in a compact form so all of these are translucent powders they're colorless I use them when I want to touch up oily areas you can use these for overall face powders to set everything me personally I just kind of use it to set oily areas throughout the day so um yeah I really like this this gets a a a a a plus 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 for me because it's the bomb it's like the best ever so that is my review of the Koja Doe hopefully I'm saying that correctly and you guys have seen me use this briefly in one of my past um eyebrow videos on how I prevent greasy eyebrows and I will link that down in the description so you can see how you know I put this over my eyebrows when I want to mattify them especially when it's summertime or if I don't want that kind of like that greasy look for example you know when you're taking a picture and sometimes your t-zone where your eyebrows is looks a little shiny because the oil is forming I just put this over my eyebrows and it just looks amazing and also sets my eyebrow powder too especially in the warmer months or just for events in general because I go to a lot of events and a lot of pictures are being taken and I cannot afford to have backflash so this is backflash free so uh, you heard from me I really love this if you guys do have any questions or any other um, recommendations as far as face powders translucent face powders that is that you would like me to try out because I would love to try out and see if there's anything you know equal to this or even better um, that I can try out and talk about here so all products that I talked about will be down in the description below for you guys to check out and if you guys do have any recommendations let me know I would love to check those out too so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later